Hello friends, this is B, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a flip through of the completed life book that I have in 2023. What you have in here is an accessory from the Traveler's Company. So this is an archive binder. And then for the stickers, I just used the uh, sticker set that was released in 2023 and I have yet to use the remaining ones. Now for this binder, this is for the regular size, which is number 11. The passport is number 16. I'm talking about numbers because I don't know if you noticed, but here's an example. So this is an MD paper cream number 25. So when you actually visit any of the retailers that carry Traveler's Notebook or even official partner shops, you may notice this small booklet. This is different from this one. I think a lot of people are more familiar with this and this is special issue 18. This actually features the official partner shop for Malaysia, which is Sizzipli and then Stickerific. And I also noticed that for Taiwan, if you've seen my videos about it, I do not see Ayabungu. So maybe in special issue number 19. Going back to this booklet, I keep this one, and I think I got this in Kinokuniya, so this is 2021 issue. I don't know if there is an updated one. So it tells you about like the, the story about Traveler's Notebook, a little bit of history, but I'm particular of what is at the back because it shows you what are the official accessories offered for Traveler's Notebook in regular size passport size their brass products as well as the spiral ring notebook there is a little bit of difference in terms of the numbers like the one i said before refill binder is 11 for regular and then for passport in six is 16. however like look at the lined notebook it's and as well as like for grid it's like the same numbering for both sizes just to take note of that for this binder, it can house five inserts. I only have three. So you've already seen the video of the first Traveler's Notebook insert that I've completed. As an update, here is the deco. So for the completed inserts for 2023, I'm particularly just talking about just the dated. So this is a vertical weekly insert. So it, this is like January to June and then July to December. So this is the design for the first half and then the back is just empty. And then the second one is this and then the back is also empty as well. So for the uh, front cover, I just use a pet tape. Uh, I think this is a collaboration between Windry and Cafe Analog. And then for the other half, so for July to December, I just use a Dodo Lulu sticker. So for the calendar, I was actually using a dot marker for these. And then it's just to highlight like anything that I'm thankful or grateful for and this is from january to june and then for july to december i have these and then for the next page uh, i started it off like putting like an index like an overall summary but if you notice on the other half i stopped doing that for the weekly one so this is a vertical I think I mentioned it on one of my Instagram stories way, way back that I miss the format of the vertical weekly because I used to use the Jibun Techo. So I also have a video about that. So it actually starts in December 19. So I just wrote in here, these are some washi from Eric. And then this is like the style that I kind of went for. So what I was doing initially was I was using either stamps or stickers and then 
specifically zone in for the day of anything i want to to highlight this was used in conjunction with the midori hibino so anything that i want to expand outside of the hibino are all written in here so i would tend to update them daily and then as i kind of progressed uh it kind of shifts also uh this one like i use all stamps and then if i don't have anything like this one is like a strip of tape and then i just utilize this is like a place for me for play where i can use all of the stickers that i have the washies and everything so these are just like how it looks like so like this this i planned out uh, because it's all coffee theme so i put in the stickers first and then i wrote after this is all eric small things and then i went back again to like use whatever i have for the day and here's another theme this is washi tape collaboration with mizotama and then this one are the petite deco rush it looks like this so i use that in here as a way to change things up and then kind of you can now see like a pattern in terms of how i use this one so any of the this like yes i am exhausted and i found a sticker of a dog so i just put that on there so even for for reading books and oh this one was when i first visited the first partner shop here in malaysia so this was back in may um uh, six i think or five either of the two so i just posted that one in here and then this one from miki tamura i think yeah this was like a sample that i got from the journal meetup that i attended and same goes with this one so this is like a, an animal crossing washi tape the person who gave this to me was emmy and then i'm back to my eric small things the i think this is rms raw market shop there i almost forgot and then you have like the like the do not disturb this one is your haku and this is the week where we went to penang so we went to Ryder, I bought a perfume, and then the different cafes that we visited. And then this, you can see like, it didn't really matter to me what, what ink I'm using. So here you can see this one's purple. I got the Balm Kuhen at that time. And then this one, uh, I can't remember if this was BGM. So this is like a different theme. Now for the last page of the first insert, we're using again a theme. So what you see here is another Mizutama collaboration. Same goes with the washi tape. And then for the pen, I'm just using the Pilot Juice series. So the back, I just pasted the like for the rubber band because I think I was doing that for reference for some reason. So that's the first half. And then the second half, so July, so if we look on the previous one, I could actually continue but I didn't. So I just went straight in and then this, this one is just empty. And pretty much do the same thing. Oh, this one was the Som E Market for the first event that they did. I have like, for example, this one I think is Big Hands your red and well what else do i have i think i did yep okay for the next week this is where i use the things from the makers that i bought like for example like from elsie i bought one for kinky some things of mine black milk project new red 
I think this one is, I know this is Big Hands. I think this is from Wenyea. This one is MS Bulak. So pretty much all, the, all of the Malaysian makers are what's highlighted for this week. And then I'm back again to that Eric. So you know I'm really a fan of Eric's small things. So I kind of use whatever that I have. This is the Modaisi theme. And then I just use, I think this is a Uniball pen. I'm not mistaken because I don't own an ink like this and then this is like pie on week so the birds I saw I think it's scientist plants I asked her like I think it was on her Hobonichi weeks and then it was from pie on. so that's what I have in here I think this one is different I can't remember which artist that is but I have that and then this I think is meow illustration I, I feel if not it's somebody else but it's from a sample loop that I've purchased from sticker Effect. and then here Nomado store this was the time that I got my all leather TSL bag and then I also got something from Atelier's Penelope and then here I think I bought something from Smitter Paper. And then this was like just something that I uh, actually have. And then, yeah. And then this one, Deco Rush. So this is from a whole sticker sheet. I think it, this is Cameo one. And then I just laid it out and then right after. This is a little bit different if you actually compare, like this is also similar to this one. I think I started to change some things, like the transition I feel is like in this section. Let me double check, yep. So in this section, I started over, like for example, for usually I will just write in this part, but then I started crossing over and then I continue like one line, one line, one line, and then there's a bit of a, crossover and then the following week it is a complete crossover where i ignored the vertical and then i just simply write in this format this is like a friction pen so you can see the color changing thing and then i did the same thing the following week so that's why it's a little bit different i and then i went back to how i do things this is like the time where we went to Singapore. If you visit Singapore and you are okay with eating pork, do visit Guzman y Gomez. It is really good when it comes to their offerings. Like they offer like Mexican food. This is really, really nice. And then here, majority of the stickers are from Big Hands. And then using the same pattern, this one is from Elsie. Pretty much same thing, just use different types of colored pens. So how I use it. And then I have noted the partner shop because I have this one previously. And then I noted that it is the first partner shop in Malaysia because during this time, this was the time where Stickerific was announced as a, like a, a partner shop. And then this is a cutout from the hobonichi like the paper one i just pasted it in here this is all croissant bread theme <laughs> this part it was basha coffee's opening in malaysia so just by looking at the stickers themselves like it gives me without really reading of what are the entries it, some of the memories like come back to you i hope that makes sense this is freckles tea theme i just this is just a sample loop it has a bit of like autumn-ish vibe to it and then this is the stamp for stickerific how it looks like and i also got the the stamps that they made i think this was free with the meetup thing and then just to match the pen with the freckles one which i don't typically do but you know sometimes you change it up 
and then here I went back to like black and then still fr freckles and then I have this sticker here because another branch of Tutaya was opened and then here it's all Taylor Swift got this from stickerific and then I just kind of did this and then because the day before I attended the I, before I went to the celebration for Sizzipli as an official partner shop I watched the, the the movie for for Taylor Swift so that's why I have these and then this is Payan uh, for the for the girls and then this is this one is like similar to like here I think this is JR journal for the name of the uh, artist it's all like wearing pajamas kind of thing and then here is the dodolulu phase so everything is dodolulu and these are all pet tape so I got like sample loops and then I bought a full roll, which is for this one. So each of the dates, it, I kind of transition just from just doing this. And then, yeah, I continue it for this part. But then when December started, I use every day, like whatever the pet tape for Dodolulu. One, two, three, it kind of continued. And then there was just some things that I add in between. And then the color also is different because this was the time that I was doing one pen a day, which is coming from this one. So this was like day one, day two, day three, because it contains like each of the pens for the, this particular set. So I was using one per day. So each of the, that's why the colors are different, but the common theme would be the the this one from Dodoruru. And then here, some E-Market 2.0, another one that happened. And this is from Yamadoro. And the, the color continues actually, because this pet tape ends in the 25th. So you can pretty much see if this, section is from this one so you can now see that yes i am a pilot fan i'm not ashamed of admitting that because you know for anything that i think even for friends or any acquaintances that i meet when people ask me like what's the brand that you would recommend it's pilot across the board whether we're talking about fountain pens and even for pens like these yes I tend to gravitate to Pilot because especially for fountain pens when people ask because it doesn't matter if you own the Pilot Petite or the Kakuno or you go as high towards the Namiki line the quality across the board on different price points are great quality so it doesn't matter it just varies on the budget that you are okay with to spend if that makes sense so for the 25th to the 31st you already know i have those videos posted this is where this is what i did when we went to uh taiwan so i mostly use a lot of the rubber stamps that i had with me and then this one the bubble tea this was like a, a, a sample that i got from one of the washi tapes i just cut it out and then this is from Ayabungu, Mr. Eggplants, Hello Studio. This one also Hello Studio. So that cutout thing. And then I have that remaining washi from the Travelers Company. And then this one is also from Mr. Eggplants. I just cut things in half. And I didn't have anything else for in here. So that's a flip through of my 2023 vertical weekly if you have any questions or anything or any requests at all feel free to comment down below thank you so much again for watching i'll see you on the next one